can you uh, right. actually prevent Sarah Bloom Raskin from, from getting this appointment? Well, it, it remains to be seen, I think, but it, the, the easy way to move things forward would be to take the Sarah Bloom Raskin nomination, which is a very important one, that's a 10-year um, appointment to the to uh, supervisor, and uh, that's a set that aside, we could move on the five other Fed nominations, uh, well, really four Fed nominations and then one for uh, the Federal Housing Agency, and we'd be happy to vote on all of those. Not that we would vote for all of them, but we'd be happy to vote on them. Each committee has their own rules, Joe, so each committee is a little bit different. So we did what we did by not attending the business meeting where the markup would take place is we denied the, the Democrats a quorum. And that's, that's one of the rules that, that uh, in a 50-50 Senate, the minority has. There are different reasons. But if, 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 if the chairman would just separate it out, that, yeah, um, that, we could they move won't forward. Do that. And by the they, way. They we, won't do that because that's, a, that's acknowledging that, that maybe they don't get Sarah Bloom Raskin through. They, they want to keep up. But, but they ought to acknowledge front. that, Joe. Yeah. It, it is, but they ought to acknowledge that because we're doing Democrats a big favor. All we're asking for are further answers to really important questions not about you. Sarah Bloom not, Raskin's. Not you. You want you you right. just think I, that by definition she she's going to use the the Fed to debank um, the fossil fuel industry and you're from well you know, North, North listen I'm a no vote for that reason she wants to she's been very clear she wants to reallocate capital away from legal commerce and especially the fossil industry and by the way so does Lael Brainerd Lael Brainerd's um, you know uh, rhetoric hasn't been quite as harsh but her position has been. And uh, so those are reasons to vote no. Both but but we're, we're not denying that. We, we're denying them the opportunity to even have a vote on Sarah Bloom Raskin over the ethical cloud that hangs over her head because it's, frankly, I don't know why they want that, the baggage that comes from an, an insufficient or a rushed uh, judgment to, uh, to confirm her when she, her issue is very, very serious. This revolving door issue where the KC Federal Reserve changed the decision on offering a master account to her fintech company that she joined the board of after being a, a Fed governor and a Treasury official. That's a serious, serious question that has yet to be answered properly. When it was finally answered by the KC Fed, they said well, they reversed their decision for two reasons, and one of them is, is that the Colorado Division of Banking re, you know, redefined a, what a bank is. And, the, and that, of course, as you know, because you all reported it just yesterday, I think, uh, the Colorado Division of Banking denies that. They, they call it a misrepresentation. So uh, we're really doing the administration a favor by a delaying of, uh, her confirmation. Yeah, I think she had she got shares in that, in, in that uh, entity, too, and, and um, worth granted almost $1.5 made, made, made a million and a half, yeah. Million, yeah. And, and with a lot of increased scrutiny on everyone in Washington in terms of interest, it, so, but there sure is. You figure if she's able to answer that effectively, do you think she uh, eventually gets a, a conference? Not from you because of your other concerns, but is it possible to answer that effectively? This, this the well, phone there, call you to the Kansas City effectively. Fed. Yeah, well, and there's one of the problems: the Kansas City Fed has not provided the documentation as to why they reversed their decision and gave fin the fintech company. Um, reserve Trust, this very coveted master account at the Federal Reserve. When they do that, that doesn't mean that it's going to change a bunch of minds. I actually think, th you know, the scandal that you guys reported that, that uh, the Fed's de uh, decision and the rationale does not match up with what they are saying with the, the uh, Colorado Division of Banking, I think that adds a, a more of a cloud. I'm not really sure that every Democrat could support that. Remember, Elizabeth Warren comes into most banking committee meetings when, when there's a, a nominee in front of us and spends five minutes berating them if they've ever worked for a corporation in their life or if they ever plan to work for a company again in their right. lives. So this revolving door thing is, she's, she's been the number one um, opponent to revolving doors right. and this one stinks big time because we have actual evidence that she made one and a half million dollars off of a, you know, a, a stock trade after Senator lobbying the KC Fed for preferential treatment.